Yo guys, welcome back to another Wizard on a walkthrough, and today we're just going to be continuing Mushu uh, to Shushan Village. Uh, first of all, let's grab the Oyster, which is just around here. And I went through, did all the side quests, uh, well, almost all the side quests for the world, the ones I have unlocked currently. So I'm now level 43 with, uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah, I just went through and did all that. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's move on. What a disaster. Our treasured water is no longer pure. It's a complete nightmare. I don't know what to do. The water was always pure before. My superior will be furious. Woe is me. Perhaps he'd know what to do. Yes, good idea. You can find Din Ho at the Cave of Solitude. Now, uh, this is actually, like, one of my least favorite sections in Mushu, particularly all three of these places I'm not a huge fan of doing. So, let's just hope we can get through them pretty quickly, considering I'm, uh, a higher level than I really need to be in this place. So, let's hope we can do it. I did go through here and do a lot of side a lot of side questing, so I am familiar with uh, all the creatures in here. So none of them are will be particularly hard for me to defeat. However, uh, uh, I don't remember the main quest as much. Patience, young wizard. There are solutions to all things. We shall make the water pure again. The path set before us is a difficult one. But we must still follow it. The health of the Emperor and of all living things on Mushu depends on our actions. The Plague Oni, a powerful demon, has sickened our water and broken the Jade Scepter that purifies our shrines. We can weaken the Plague Oni by repairing the Jade Scepter. This demon is an ancient enemy. I know its ways. I have discovered the location of a piece of the Jade Scepter. It was taken by mutineers who hide in the forest. Please. Retrieve this piece for us. Okay. I, I think it's in the Wandering Ronin section. Yeah. Not quite here, but... Yeah, over here. So, so... Th I think that's a Skeleton Key boss. I, I'm not too sure, though. I really haven't done much uh, in the way of Skeleton Key bosses. So, I'm honestly not that well-versed in them. But I'm pretty sure that's where one is. Alright, I actually didn't face these guys, so I don't know how much health they are. Okay, so that's actually not too, too bad. I'll take away Kraken, because they're probably just going to Storm Shield anyways. I'm likely not going to need it. Alright. I'm hoping we can collect it first go, because that'd be much nicer. But, uh, of course, got to blade up first anyways. Honestly, I could kill with just one blade, considering I have 31% base damage. But uh, I'm not going to push my luck. I'll just uh, get the two blades, and then we'll hit. Only thing that can really stop me now is a weakness, maybe. Even then... Yeah, that's the only thing that would really, uh... Or a fizzle. That also is a possibility. Uh, considering I have decent, ac like, somewhat decent accuracy now with this gear, uh, I still can fizzle, so... It's just not as likely anymore. Which, by the way, I love. It's not very fun to fizzle, so... Cool, we got it like... Like... I was gonna say like first try, but... No, we got it first try. Okay. Let's go back to... That's surprisingly a lot of XP. This place... I was actually surprised. I didn't remember how much XP you really actually got for everything. The Muda truly blessed us when you arrived in Mushu. Thanks to your actions, we now have the handle of the Jade Scepter. I consulted the ancient texts once more. They mention Koto at the end of the path. 
It is likely the Plague Oni gave Koto a piece of the Jade Scepter for safekeeping. As a faithful subject of the Plague Oni, he won't part with his piece easily. Therefore, you must defeat him to get the second piece of the Jade Scepter. Uh, it's probably Wandering Ronin's like... No, actually, might be uh, more on the Tainted Forest side. Uh, which, yeah, pretty much is. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like this guy is on the exact same quest as me. So, I'm gonna just let him go first, because I don't... I'd rather just solo it. <clears throat> I'll just wait. Kenneth. Uh, join? Oh, sure. Thoughts, uh, he might want to go alone. I'm used to people wanting to just quest alone. What I'm going to do to you. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I, I can keep cracking in my hand, but it uh, might not be as necessary. This guy has a nice pet, it looks like. Uh, I'm going to faint Kodo. I'm actually curious what his pet stats are. It, lo it looks like they're probably... Yeah, look, they're really good. I can already tell. Yeah, well... Not the best it can be, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. And I'm assuming he'd probably change the Star Jewel later on. He just wants the accuracy for now. But, wow, that's 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 pretty good. It's pretty damn good. If I do say so myself. Um, uh, okay. Okay, he has Deer Knight. That works. Uh, I'll, I'll just Blade. I'm pretty sure, like, it's going to do a lot anyways, but... Because I'm, I'm pretty sure the Deer Knight's going kill, gonna to kill. Especially after the one round. Because Deer Knight's a really strong spell, honestly. Although, I'm surprised he's using TCs. I would have thought he'd just have, uh... Farmed a lore master or something. He seems like that kind of guy. Yeah, I really don't need. Uh... Didn't really need uh, my help, I'll tell you that. Well, he does have 45% damage, so yeah, that's cr kind of crazy. I'll just... Might as well just pass, it's gonna kill him. Rip Kodo. You collect the shaft of the Jade Scepter. Kodo Sandals of Discontent. Okay. Alrighty. Let us go back to Zadinho. Although he's probably going to jump ahead of me. More than likely because I'm going to be listening to dialogue and he won't be. So that's always a factor in swiftness, I suppose. You have done well. This is the shaft of the Jade Scepter. Only one oh, piece my phone just missing. binged. My bad. As for the last piece, I am uncertain of its location. The texts are unclear to me, but I do know that subjects of the Plague Oni live in the huts around this area. Perhaps they have the last piece. Kindly go and search the huts for the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter. All right, I'm pretty sure this one's near the entrance. Yeah. I don't think we actually need to defeat this stuff, though, right? I'm pretty sure we can just jump out of it. Uh... I don't know what I want to use. Sure. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Oh, lovely. I suppose I could have saw that coming. Uh, he's probably going to need to finish off. Yeah, I had a feeling I wasn't going to get a power pit, but that's fine. I, uh... I... I still should Meteor. Yeah, and then he's going to use Ghoul, so... Okay, I was scared that was going to be a weakness, because I didn't see who that was cast on. But, uh... Yeah... Very nice. It's pretty much what my pet's gonna be built like. This fairy is extremely helpful, let me just say that. Alright. Still should do a little bit, but not obviously not as much as I'd like. Wow, that did nothing. Holy crap. See, I would have double bladed, but I didn't pull fire blades, so kind of unlucky for me, but uh, yeah, that spark should be the kill. Wasn't exactly on my uh, good list of hands. Nonetheless, just kind of delayed it one turn, it's not that big of a deal. Alright. You search the hut and find nothing. Great. Gotta love searching and finding nothing. Makes me feel so rewarded. Alright. You may need to cut down my deck a little bit. It's possible. It's possible, uh... That I might need to do that. I wonder if there's a boss in one of these. I don't think so, though. Regardless. Alright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I guess uh, that works. I'm surprised this uh, death got elemental blades. I suppose it's because maybe support playing support, but, uh, if he, yeah. Okay, I will, I'll just faint for him, I don't really, it, it'll kill, regardless. I, I could have double fainted for him, but, you know, it's whatever. Honestly, it's probably going to kill without the feint anyways. Like I said, Deer Knight is extremely strong. Yeah, like, just barely didn't kill. Ah, oh, I forgot death boosts on balance. I, I should have put it on the myth, but whatever. Searching the hut, you find nothing. You still find nothing. Great. Good to know. Surprised this guy doesn't leave marks. That's what I should be doing. Truthfully. I just uh, haven't been, I guess. Alright. Uh, teleporter should be back here. Yeah, I did all the moss back quests too. Sincerest apologies, wizard. I led you into danger through my error. 
It is times like these when I realize that my faith is being put to the test. I hesitate to send you into danger again, so let me know if you would like to proceed. There is a pagoda of significance to the Plague Oni near Benoit. We may be able to find information about the whereabouts of the last piece there. If you are willing, go there and tell me what you can find concerning the missing piece of the Jade Scepter. Uh... Okay, we want to go Tainted Forest. This way? Nope, opposite way. Of course. Alright. 2000 XP mass, crazy. I think, I think this is a boss, but I could be wrong. It's always a bit misleading. <clears throat> Jeez, you got an... You dare to test your might on me? What a mistake. I need uh, prisms in. And we should be fine then. This looks kind of like a fairly high level. I'm... Or not. Oh. Okay. I did not draw fire prism, unfortunately. For some reason, a lot of people are on Cave of Solitude. Or at Cave of Solitude, rather. Just a little surprised. Uh, let's see. Going right into a meteor. Okay, well, I suppose I will go ahead and faint for you there. Very curious. Not even a blade. She just goes straight into a meteor. Might as well just give her the boost she needs. It is TC, so it does do a lot more, so. Might as well just beefing up her attack so it does as much as possible. Okay, she has crit pet. Nice. Having a crit pet at this level, you would crit actually a lot because of the crit. Uh... Oh, I didn't. I forgot it. the dialogue was loading. Uh... Because of the whole critical uh, thing. Like, when you go up in level, your critical rate goes down, if that makes any sense. Because as you get higher, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but... But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Interesting. I am relieved that you have returned safely and with good news. I was worried that I had sent you into harm's way needlessly. I should not have doubted the great Muda. Kanago is a formidable opponent, but we can surprise him in his pagoda. He will not be expecting you to find him. Go there and get the remaining piece of the Jade Scepter from him. Okay, yeah, I actually want to go to Wandering Ronin. And then I can work my way there. Because it's over here. Okay. Gotta love teleporters. Back when I started playing this game, they were not there, so... Let's put that into perspective a little bit. Alright. Got all the Ronin... What? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> It was actually good that that person joined us for the fire one, because it would take me a bit longer. Uh, we are prepared. My little piggies warned me that you are coming, wizard. You will never have the Jade Scepter while I still stand. Okay. Well, I guess I will make you not, not stand. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 
I need to, like, man, I really need to get rid of this Cyclops pet and, uh, replace it with something more, uh, fiery. I guess that's the word I'm gonna use. Alright. Let's, uh, faint it up. Probably gonna get some pretty nice damage done to me here, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, we'll pop the elemental blade and then we'll meteor. Should be an... It's not going to be enough, but... That's what I forgot to do in between episodes. I forgot to buy uh, elemental TCs. Or I could buy monstrous, but... I don't know if I can actually get that in the bazaar. Actually, I probably definitely can. Which I should be using. That's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. Gosh. I keep, I, I keep forgetting to do that stuff. Because I'm like too busy side questing or doing crafting quests or that stuff. I always forget the stuff that'll make my life easier. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping this will do enough. If not, I still have Fire Elf as backup, but I'm pretty sure it'll do enough. Pretty sure, anyways. Yep. You have found the headpiece. Damn straight I have. Pink dandelion. I've been, uh, putting... Planting King Parsley plants... Getting a bit, uh, King Parsley plot of plants for uh, farming amber because I want to uh, craft all the fire spells like uh, Burning Rampage and uh, what is the other one? I don't even remember the other ones to be completely honest with you, but yeah. Because I would like to get all of them, so. This headpiece you retrieved is the most important part of the Jade Scepter. I hope we can repair all of it soon. In ancient times, the Jade Scepter was blessed by the forest spirits. Ancient spirits, they hold sway over the earth, water, and air spirits. We will need the help of these venerable forest spirits. To do so, we must first catch their attention with offerings of Jade Lotus, Tiger Lily, and Pearl Orchid. Okay. Please gather these flowers and bring them back to me. So near entrance we find Pearl Orchid. Uh near the tainted forest we find nothing. Okay. Wandering Ronin, we find what? There's gotta be something here, right? Okay, we find Tiger Lily. And then what else? Uh, anything else here? Because what else do we need? We need Jade Lotus. Okay, it doesn't look like we can find that here. Unfortunately. Maybe it's back near the entrance. Possibly. Not good at tracking down the flowers, to be honest, but... Because all I can see are pearl orchids. There's no jade lotus. I suppose it could be farther away. But I'm gonna guess no. And... Go back to Wander Ronin, and instead I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait a second. I just realized there's, uh actually quest tracker for this i'm an idiot i didn't realize that was uh, a thing on this quest i just assumed it was uh something i just had to find on my own like the prospector z quests but uh nope i'm stupid so very well i will accept 
my denseness and uh, move on. Wonderful. What a fragrant display. The forest spirits will be pleased. Now gather up the flowers along with the three pieces of the jade scepter and place them all into the brazier at the center of the cave. Hopefully the forest spirits will hear your prayers. I'll be praying for you too, young wizard. May you go there and return with the jade scepter intact. Well, that's what I hope happens, so... I guess we'll find out, right? You receive the jade scepter. Intact, I assume? That's good. I suppose that is always good. Merciful Muda! I thought perhaps the Jade Scepter would be lost from us forever, but here it is. I see that I must learn to quiet my doubts. With the Jade Scepter, we can now begin to restore our shrines. Please, carry the Jade Scepter back to Sun Hing and tell him about all you've done here. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, that's one of the places that I dislike the most done. Yeah, surprisingly, Shushan Village is uh, one of my least favorite places in Mushu, but nevertheless, since I already did all the side quests, it's not too bad. Because I would have to go and do all the side quests if I didn't have that done, so I suppose that's a good thing. So, yeah. Let's go back to Sunning. You have the Jade Scepter. Thank the Muda. Now, take the Jade Scepter and talk to Tulukwo at the Kashibi village. He's the caretaker of our holy shrines. If we want to weaken the plague, Oni, we need to restore the shrines to their former glory. Tula Kuo is the one to contact about such a thing. Okay. But I'm actually going to end this video off here. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the subscribe button down below. That much would be appreciated. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video of the Wizard World Walkthrough. And peace out. Bye-bye.